Good day, students. This is the short storyboard that I made for you. Please check it out. Our storyboard for today is all about Leopold's maneuver. Let us know the steps on, on how to perform Leopold's maneuver. Step 1. Identify the correct patient. Please make sure you use two patient identifiers such as patient's name and birth date, depending on hospital policy. Step 2. Introduce yourself and state the purpose of the intervention by, say by saying, Hello, I'm Nurse Roger Bryan and I'll be your nurse from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is Aliawan. I'll be performing Leopold's maneuver to, to determine the position of the baby. Step 3. Per perform hand hygiene. Please be sure to follow the 7 steps in proper hand washing. Step 4. Ask the patient to empty her bladder if necessary by saying, Before the procedure, would you like to go to the toilet before we start? Because it might be uncomfortable for you during palpation. Please drink the patient appropriately. Next step, assist client to lie on bed on the dorsal recumbent position. Woman lie on her back with her shoulders raised slightly on a pillow and her knees draw up a little. Next step, expose the part of the examine keeping a cover on the other parts. Always remember, position the mother in the dorsal recumbent. It helps the woman relax her abdominal muscles to enhance palpation. For the first maneuver, fundal grip, what lies at the fundus? Step 7. Face the client's head. Step 8. Using both hands, palpate the fundal area. Expect to palpate a soft, regular mass in the upper quadrant, quadrant of the maternal abdomen. Step 9. Often determine the size, consistency, shape, and mobility of the form. Always remember, the fetal head is, head is hard, firm, round, and moves independently of the trunk, while the buttocks feel softer, are symmetric, and the shoulders and limbs have small bony processes. Step 10. While still facing the patient, move hands to the lateral sides of the abdomen, Perform this maneuver by placing, by placing the right hand on one side of the patient's abdomen while using the left hand to explore the woman's uterus on the right side. Step 11. Repeat this step on the opposite side using the opposite hand. Remember, the fetal back is smooth and firm. The uh, extremities of the fetus should feel like protrusions and small irregularities. For the third maneuver, Paulix grip, what is in the inlet? Step 12. Move hands down to the lower pelvic area. Step, step 13. Palpate the area just above the symphysis pubis to determine the presenting part. Step 13. Grasp the presenting part with the thumb and fingers of the right hand. This step of the process I test identifies the part of the fetus that is above the inlet. For the fourth maneuver, pelvic grip, what is the attitude? Where 
For good attitude, if brow correspond to the side that contain the elbows, elbows and knees. For poor attitude, if examining fingers will meet an obstruction on the same side as the fetal back. Okay, for the next step. Face the client's feet. For the next step, place hands on the abdomen and point fingers toward the mother's feet. Next step, gently move the move the fingers on hand on both hands towards the pubis by sliding the hands over the sides of the patient's uterus. The side where the greatest resistance to the descending fingers is the location of the brow. Next step, do hand hygiene. For the last step, record your findings on the client's record and refer. Study hard to achieve your goals. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.